I've got to know him obviously over the time period of time I've been at the football club, but he's a name that um, you know anyway. He's been tremendously important, um, both obviously during his time at the football club when he scored bucket loads of goals. Um, a very influential player, um, was probably one of the very first people who uh, learned how to dive properly. We had a team talk on a Friday before, which we always used to do, on a Friday before the Saturday game. And most of it was about Tommy. And it was like, don't get near him, don't tackle him, because he'll fall over, he'll go down, you'll give away a penalty, you'll end up getting booked, you'll give away a free kick. If you touch him, you're in trouble. Lovely player, lovely player. I'd rather have him on my side than against me. I tell you, every time. When I first met Tommy Robson, I hated the little bloke. He played against me for Peterborough when I was at Barnet in 1977 and 1980 in the FA Cup and they beat us 1-0, Tommy Robson got the winner. Then they beat us 2-1, Tommy Robson got the winner. I hated the little fella until I came here and got to know him. Posh and posh throughout. He really is. I mean, if anybody was a posh man, it's Tommy. He, and he's proved it. I think he's proved it over the years. He was terrific. Uh, absolute legend in his own right. His nickname was Boxer Tricks. And that was his nickname, and he was. He'd beat, he wouldn't be happy beating someone once. He'd have to beat him three or four times. He's, he's a great ambassador for the football club. We're lucky to have him because he's, he's very well known, not obviously only in Peter, but throughout football in general. He looks after the sponsors' lounge, the exec boxes. People love to speak to Tom, and anyone who knows Tom, he loves to speak back as well. What a wonderful, wonderful legend Tommy Robson is to Peter Bay United Football Club. He's probably one of our most famous players and he gives up his time to continue being, like I say, a face for the football club and an ambassador. To be fair, um, his illness would have seen most people off, but we know there's a rugged Geordie in there. He gave it his best shot and he's still going strong today. He wasn't in the best of health and everyone was fully aware of that. Quite worried, but he, he came through it. And the sort of career he had, in, in terms of playing wise, uh, you, you expected him to come through because he's a strong personality, you know. But no, he's 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 been good to me as well, you know. Even when we've had certain bad times, he's always been there and asked me if I'm all right and things like that. He's he's a, he's a good man. If you're feeling down and you see Tommy bouncing, you know he picks you up straight away. Great man, great legend. Can't speak highly enough for him. Got time for everybody and everyone. That's why he's loved so much by everybody. That award is is for something like someone like Tommy, you know, and it can't be given out lightly. And I think it's it's right that he's the, the person to receive. Apologies, first of all, Tommy, that I can't be there um, to witness you get uh, taking the lifetime achievement award for services to Peter United in football. Nobody deserves it more than you, Tommy. And you've been absolutely brilliant to it. The time I've owned the football club, always there behind the scenes. Nobody happier when the club uh, wins. And uh, even when you weren't well and you were ill, I know you were thinking about the football club. Um, enjoy the evening, uh, enjoy the award. It's well deserved and well merited. And uh, I'll see you when I'm back over soon. Take care. Tom, you deserve this. And I mean that sincerely. You've been a wonderful servant to the club and a wonderful friend to me over the years.